give one advice for all athletes, you know. Be the be all you can be, you know, be the best you you can be. And if that means, you know, you are on Thursday evening on Spanish night, that's your evening, you all come out, you know, and never get any further than this. Then that's it. Enjoy. You all know the first time when you walk into a uh, you walk into a room, you know, and you you do some kickboxing. You cannot produce shit. You are out of air, out of breath. Your muscles are hurting. Your, you know, your leg is hurting from the locusts. But you had so much fun, and it gave you so much energy, you know. And try to try to relive every training, every session, you know, with the same passion you had that day. And if you do this, the best of you will come out. And if the best of you will come out, that means also that, um, that you always like what you do. Because you can, some, now, they, you know, sometimes they, people train because they, they have to train or they need to train, you know. And it's, and that's a shame because it's a beautiful sport, you know, you should love it, you know. If you have to see it like, if you, if you like ice cream and you can eat ice cream every day, all day long, wouldn't life be beautiful? And that's the way you should live your sport. Consistency. You've got to be consistent. No one ever achieved any goals by short, sharp, on and off, hot and cold type training, on for six weeks, off for six weeks, whatever. You have to be com consistent, you have to turn up to the gym, whatever the weather, whatever the time, whatever you're feeling, whether you're tired, whether you're not tired, whether you grind, you're going to grind your way through your training if you're tired. If you're up for it, make the most of it. If you're not, still do your best. Um, but sometimes when you fight, you're not going to feel 100%. Sometimes when you train, you're not going to feel 100%. But unless you're prepared to be consistent, you won't achieve what you want. What what you want to achieve? It means you will make sacrifices. You know, all all the fighters here, I've had to turn opportunities down. It's Liam Morrison's birthday today, but he's fighting this Saturday, so can't go out. Can't do anything. Has to defer his birthday until after the fight. A lot of teenagers, you know, they've got a lot of peer pressure. The mates want to go out to the movies. The mates want to go out and hang around on the street. The mates want to do this. The mates want to do that. And unless you can say, no, no, I'm training tonight, you, you aren't going to get where you want to be. I'm not saying people should do that, should sacrifice those areas of their life. But if you want to be a world-class fighter, that's what you need to do. To be the best is first, uh, of course, do you want to be the best? That's what I'm, I will ask him. Second, show me that you want to be the best. That means train as hard as you can. Yeah. Don't think about uh, other things. Uh, other things who, who will, uh, um, uh, you know, take off your mind of, of of focusing. So, try to be the best means I want to give everything and I want to train with the best. You know. So try to find yourself a gym with good fighters, good sparring, and you will, you will have the idea if you can be the best. Because when you get the punishment, the question is, will you come tomorrow? Will you come the day after tomorrow? Yeah, that means uh, that, you know, the die-hard guys, those guys will be the best because they, they, they report tomorrow. Even they get beaten up today, they will report tomorrow. And that is what, what makes us those times the best. And that was that is what will make them today the best and nothing else you know and not about uh, uh, because people say hey you're good and they show that you're good i'd probably say that again you have to obviously work hard obviously but then you have to believe in what you're doing like there are going to be some upsets along the way don't let it deter you like you've got to keep getting back on the horse and keep going so, so many people that i've known myself that have been in the gym and i think they've been far more gifted than me or like they've had a loss or they've had a setback and they've kind of stopped training or they've kind of lost the motivation. You have to 
keep going. That's what separates a champion from a normal, uh, uh, normal person. Otherwise, everyone's going to become a champion if it was that easy. So you need to just keep going no matter what happens. Stay modest. Yeah. Don't believe, don't believe the hype. <laughs> and so, uh, and, and especially when you're then world champion, uh, stay modest and stay a world champion because many times you see people change. The money changed them, the title changed them. I don't like that. I like the people that stay the same. It's difficult. Of course you change. Everybody changed, but you know what I mean. I'm, uh, I don't like the arrogant type. Come regularly. Just keep coming and train regularly because you get people who train for fights and all they're doing then is getting the weight off and getting fit. And you need, what you need to do is you need to come solidly, regularly, week in, week out. You've had a fight, you're back in the next, the next time. And that's how we did it. That's how everyone who I know, Liam will be in the, in the, in the gym you know, a couple of days after the fight, after a fight. And I used to be in the gym the day after the fight because you just, it's that consistent time to work on new stuff without the pressure of fight in the background. You just need the, the, the headspace to work on your basics. Uh, yeah, start training. Uh, and I always say it's, it's uh, the most difficult thing in sport is not only what you have to do for the sport, but also what you have to not to do, what you cannot do for the sport, what you have to leave for that sport, you know. If your friend go out, and but same, same if you want to be graduated on the university, but in sport it's, 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 it's obvious. If your friend goes out and he go drink a beer, sometimes yeah, you have to say, no, I cannot do it, you know. So it's not only, you have to be, you have to have your training energy and you have to focus on what you want to achieve, but you also have to think that there are also a lot of things that you, that you, that you cannot do, you know, that you can say, yeah, sorry, but I have to go training, I have to, that's important, you know. So if you want to do it, if you want to become the world champion, then you should focus on that, that, that goal to achieve that and uh, it's a it's a long way but uh, especially in Holland we have a lot of good trainers and people around you who, and coaches who can help you uh, to uh, to travel that road and to be become a champion because I think in Holland there is a base to become a world champion uh, because yeah, we have so much experience in this fighting sport so if you want to do it go to a good gym and uh, yeah, show to your trainers that you have the ambition to uh, to achieve uh, a world championship status, and then I think the ing ingredients and the tools are here in Holland. So, but do your best, train, and uh, focus on what you want to achieve every day again. First and foremost, if you want to do the sport, I've said this before in interviews. If you want to do it, you have to have to take it seriously. Um, there's a lot of fighters that you'll see going, yeah, I want to do this, I want to do this, and then you'll see them out with the weekend absolutely hammered or, or just, you know, things like that. By all means, have a good time, but if, you, if you're fighting, take it serious. Um, there's a, I, I train my ass off when I fight, or when I used to fight, should I say. Um, there was only, I had a brief spell in 2009 where I just really didn't take it seriously, and I lost three fights on the, tr on the trot, and I lost to people I could have and should have beat, and that really, really pissed me off. And I quit. I just stopped fighting. I had six months, eight months off, and I retired. I was like, oh, look, I'm done. Um, I just finished. I just had no desire to train anymore. Um, I had six months away. I didn't even go to the gym, really, for three, four months. And that's not like me. Even if, I'm, even if I've just fought, I'd usually be in the gym within a couple of days, just helping the other lads out and pad working. Um, I had a big break, uh, went back to the gym, started helping some of the lads. Luke Turner was fighting. He asked me if I'd come down and pad work him. So I went back, started helping Luke with pads and a couple of other guys. Ended up getting into a nice routine again, pad working people. And I just started enjoying it again. Um, I remember being at the town hall show after I trained these guys for Luke and things like that and helped Richard with them. And just thinking, I've got to do it again now. Just the passion came back, sorted my life out, started training hard again, then went on an, a, big, a big winning spree then. And, Went on to win another couple of world titles and getting a shot for the WBC world title and things like that. And it just pushed me on to do it. But if you're gonna start doing the sport, you have to be dedicated. It doesn't mean you've got to leave your job and go on and do this. There's only a select few people in Muay Thai that have been able to do that. 
and, and do do that and they either own gyms or work in gyms or they earn enough money out of their fights at top, top level to be able to do that. But there's no money in the sport. So if you're going to do it, don't complain and bitch and moan that there's no money in the sport. I, don't, I, I never used to fight because I got money. I fought because I loved the sport and I loved fighting. Liam fights because he loves the sport and he's lucky enough now to be at the level where he does get paid well enough to be able to fight all the time. But he doesn't do it for the money, he does it because he loves fighting still. As soon as he stops liking fighting, he won't fight. It's just, you have to have that desire and that passion to do what you want to do and drive yourself to be the best sort of thing. If you haven't got that, don't even bother starting to train. It's just not worth it. You'll get hurt, to be fair. Step by step. Some of the boys, they want to go too quickly. They're starting to fight and they're already thinking about being an A-class, being a pro. pro. And they want to jump from the, from the beginners' uh, fights to the C-class, to the B-class, and getting an A-class the quick they, 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 they can, but that, that's, that, that's not the way it works. They need, they need experience, they need time, they need a lot of training, a lot of hours. And um, yeah, sometimes they go too fast and they must have patience. They must have patience. You need a lot of fights before you, you get a pro a A class. Sometimes you've got some talents, boys, they, they just walk through all the classes and they get into an A-class, but then you, you really have a talented uh, boy. And I, 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 I would advise the, uh, everybody um, to start early, to start as a kid, to fight a lot of, of fights when you're a kid, to get a lot of experience. Every fight, even when you fight just a minute, it, it's, it's an experience. Getting into the ring is an experience. Being there is an experience. Um, every second, every minute of fight is experience. You learn and you learn and you learn. So join the club and train a lot. And, and, and don't think too easy about fighting and don't go too quick. Don't try to go too quick. Take your time. Take it easy. Yeah. Just come in and come into the gym, work hard, enjoy your training. It's the main thing, you've got to enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, there's no point. Uh, but yeah, just have a good work ethic. Put in the work, put in the hours. If you want to be a champion, you need to, you need to put in them hours in. Um, you need to train like you've never won, and then you need to fight like you've never lost. It's, it's, um, it's just it's that simple, really. Just put in the hours, and just, you'll see. You get in what you get, what you put in. You get out what you put in, sorry. I and mean, if you put in the hard work and hours, then you're going to get good, good rewards back from this sport. Give it all you've got. If you really want to be a champion, you've got to give it all you've got. And even if you lose, just get back up and come back stronger. I know, I know it sounds, it sounds uh, like cliche, but just try your best. Just try your hardest. Train as hard as you can. And then if you do lose or if you do get you know, humiliated, you know, you, you know, you know you've tried your best. Because I've been humiliated myself when I haven't tried my best. And that's the worst thing you can do. And there's no point starting somewhere and not putting 100% in and saying, oh, I could have put... I could, have, I could have trained a little bit harder for that fight or I could have dieted a little bit better because I've done it myself and you, you, don't, you, you don't need to learn from their mistakes. Just put 100% in. Don't slack. Because if you do slack, then you'll regret, you'll regret it in the end. So just try your best and then you'll be the best that you can be. Advice would be... I'd, I'd definitely tell them to make sure they concentrate in school <laughs> because if you do tend to get injured, especially in combat sports, it can happen. You've always got something to fall back on. I think that's very important. But if you've got dreams and you've got goals, I'd most certainly say put 110% into those and, and you know go for it and believe that you can do it and, and act as if it's already happened. Once you act as if it's already happened, I'm, I'm sure, you know, you'll attract yourself to, the, to, to being whatever you want to be. And I'd say just, just be confident and be, you know, be 100% focused on your goal as to what you want to do and what you want to be.